All right, guys, so it seems like Maurice Claret has some comments about Deion Sanders, Warren Sapp, and Ed Reed after Deion Sanders was recently interviewed on the Rich Essien show for praising Warren Sapp for getting his diploma and letting everybody know that Warren Sapp will be a part of the Colorado coaching staff. And it seems like Warren Sapp did not appreciate the comments that Maurice Claret has said about him, Coach Prime, and Ed Reed. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play the audio clip on what Coach Prime has said about Warren Sapp. And then after that, I'm going to read out the tweet that Maurice Claret had put out today. And then I'm going to show you guys Warren Sapp's response to what Maurice Claret has said. And then after that, we're going to get a reaction on what Ed Reed had to say because he spoke out as well too on his IG Live today. So stay tuned for that. If you guys don't mind dropping a like on the video, that would be highly appreciated. And feel free to share this video out if you want to. And comment you guys' opinions and thoughts on the situation. Let me know how you guys feel. I love when you guys engage and comment. We'll take a listen to Coach Prime, and then I'm going to come back to you guys. Love him. We we know him other than how the world know him. And you talking about a huge teddy bear. You talking about a huge teddy bear. He has this huge bravado that's going to scare you off if you allow him to. But deep down... And you don't even have to go that deep. He's he's a teddy bear, man. And to see him go get his diploma, because I know what he wants to do. He wants to coach on his staff, and he wants to be a part of the staff, and he is going to be a part of the staff. But he is unbelievable. The kids love him. Oh, my God, they love him. When they just see him, the D, when the D-Lamas see him, they light up like a Christmas tree. And one of the most beautiful sights I've, I've seen was first at the practice one day, he was just he just came here to kick and came here to see me. And he was in the hot tub because, you know, his body still banged up as well. At first, it was one guy. Look down there 30 minutes later, you got the whole defensive line in the hot tub and he's holding court. And he, you know how he's animated like yeah. John Madden. And he's he's doing all his antics and he has captivated all their attention and they're hanging on to every word. And. He has so much to give, man, and I, I can't wait. I can't wait to, to see him on a daily basis. What? So now this was Claret's response to what Coach Prime said about Warren Sapp. And I want to I want to hear you guys' opinions. I want you guys to comment down below. Do you agree with what Claret said or do you disagree? Because it seems like Warren Sapp did not fully appreciate what Claret said. But let me go ahead and read it to you guys. It says, when I look at this, I instantly think of a few things. It's first, congrats to Warren Sapp and the big respect to Deion Sanders for giving him the opportunity to coach in the space. The next thing I naturally think of is how do you have Ed Reed and Warren Sapp looking to coach college football outside of the University of Miami when their programs is in the condition it's in? In the current state of college football, I use those dudes' name, image, and likeness to capture all of the Florida talent I could. I'd raise a ton of money for the NIL collective and I'd leverage their brands to turn Miami into what Prime turned Colorado into. This isn't meaning to be offensive to the current staff at University of Miami, but I'm sure they understand if a few people had to move over for some Hall of Famers for the furthering of the program. Now, I'm pretty sure the second half of this tweet is where Warren Sapp got thrown off because he actually responded back to this message and you can tell he didn't take a liking to this and what he said. And I'm about to read out what he said, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with what Maurice Claret said? Now, this is what Warren Sapp said. He responded back on Twitter with the message he said by saying, you a coach at OSU, correct? Stop thinking it might hurt. And Claret responded with, I get it, but I don't understand it. Congrats on the degree and the position. And Ed Reed also responded back to this. He went on IG Live and I kind of understand what Claret is saying. He does kind of have a point. I get where he's coming from. And these are one of those takes that are very controversial. Everybody will have their own opinions on, you know, his recent comments. Now, Ed Reed went on IG Live, and it seems like whatever Maurice Claret was saying about Ed Reed seems to not be true because Ed Reed went on IG Live to state that he will not be a part of the Colorado football team. He was stating, don't believe everything that you see on the Internet. And he let it be known. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this short clip on what he said, and then I'm going to close the video out. So take a listen to what he said. Let's talk about this crab in the bucket. You ain't heard Colorado want me at all. Stop believing everything y'all see come across your got dog on phone. So as y'all heard, Ed Reed just let it be known that Colorado has not stated to him that they want him to be a part of the team. So maybe it was some confusion there. 
but again let me hear you guys opinions comment down below on the comments that maurice claret has stated let me know how you guys feel if you made it this far throughout the video much love i appreciate you so much if you don't mind dropping a like before you leave that'll be appreciated and feel free to share this video out and subscribe to the channel if you're new but i love all you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful day but that's all i got for everybody peace out